Okay, we'll be singing I Am Resolve here shortly as we extend the invitation. Here in the auditorium class, we did kind of an overview, reading through all the book of James, and there are just so many great thoughts in the book of James, how God gives grace to the humble, how he resists the proud, how God of his own will begat us with the word of truth, how he wants us to be not just hearers only, but a doer of his word. And that if we err, God wants us to come back if we uh, have erred from the truth, as we see there at the end of chapter 5. And just so many great thoughts. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. Uh, the good gifts, I, I like the explanation I heard one time about that. Every good gift all the physical blessings that emanate from God. And every perfect gift are all the spiritual blessings that emanate from God. All the physical gifts, we get all kinds of gifts, whether we try to serve God or not, uh, we just, well, we're blessed with air, we, we breathe, we live, the sunshine, the rain comes upon various folks, but now the spiritual blessings, they are offered, but they have to be received through faith and obedience, and that's what James 2 talks about, not just mere saying we have faith that we believe, because the demons believe and tremble, and of course, they're not saved, but we have to be and have an obedient, working faith. As you look at the example of Abraham, Rahab, etc., as talked about there in the second chapter. And so we need to imbib of this wisdom from above, and that is to say, hey, you know, this Bible, this message, it's the message of salvation. It's the message to show me the way that I ought to go. And so that's the great plan of God, that we do exist. God's our creator. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3 and verse 23. And salvation is offered to everybody. Jesus died for everyone. He's the propitiation not for our sins only, but the sins of the whole world, First John tells us. And if we come as a believer and obey and receive this uh, engrafted word, uh, we can be born anew. We can be, receive this new life. That is, we say, yep, yeah, I'm resolved. I see I'm lost and undone in sin, but in Christ Jesus I can be saved. In Christ Jesus I can be forgiven. In Christ Jesus I can be adopted. In Christ Jesus I can turn from all this bad stuff, be washed and cleansed by the blood of Christ, and I can get on a road that leads to heaven, walk a newness of life. And that's the invitation. Jesus says, come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden. If we're laboring under the burden, the weight of sin, we can come to Jesus. Jesus invites you to come. He can give you rest. And he's the only one that can actually give you rest from your uh, transgression because he can cleanse, he can wash, he can wash it all away by the power of his blood. But it has to be accepted by faith and obedience. We extend the invitation. If you would be resolved that you want to step out, coming as a believer, uh, repenting, ready to confess, ready to be baptized into the body of Christ, we'll be glad to assist you to that end. And then you rise to walk in newness of life, and then if you're a Christian, you started that way, but then you've sort of erred, you've slipped away, you need to get back on the right track, come back through repentance and prayer, and we'll be glad to pray with you and for you. We're going to sing a song to your encouragement. <clears throat> if there's one here that needs to obey the gospel, and it is your resolve, you come and let us know. While together as we stand and as we sing. <clears throat>